Hello everyone, this is TechBizMo, and welcome back once again to another video. Um, so, t about two years ago, almost two years ago, uh, I made a video called Viewer System Specifications with ScreenFetch, and specified that it was a filler episode. <laughs> um, and in the comments section I got a comment from Ryan McConkey saying uh, he likes ScreenFetch, but he prefers NeoFetch, and ever since I've wanted to check out NeoFetch, <laughs> but, but I never have. Um, so today I'm just going to, yeah, as you can tell, this is just going to be a quick little uh, video. I'm just going to be comparing the two, so I'm going to minimize that um, and full screen my lovely terminal. I'll actually clear those for now. So by default, NeoFetch actually comes pre-installed in Linux Mint, which is the distribution that I'm currently using. You can see there. Um, so yeah, just by default, you're able to type just... Uh, you're able to just open up your turbo and go NeoFetch and then enter and then it'll show you your system specifications with NeoFetch. Um, but with ScreenFetch you have to do sudo apt install and then ScreenFetch just like that. Um, but I already have it installed so we're just going to be doing ScreenFetch like so. And uh, yeah, this is this is the this is what the video is for. So <laughs> let's uh, talk about these. So. Here we have NeoFetch. You guys can see there's, it's obviously a little bit more colorful, just a little bit. <laughs> uh, then we've got ScreenFetch right here. <clears throat> now, one thing that strikes my eye immediately, you know, pretty much immediately, is that uh, uh, ScreenFetch is pretty much more like um, into the code names and stuff, whereas uh, with NeoFetch, it's just got like the the title of the actual component of the computer or the the software's name or stuff or something like a let me give you guys an example for the GPU you can see uh, we've got like stuff like whiskey lakes and that is the version of the the GPU as well as the processor that's the code name for the eighth generation Intel uh, processors uh, actually I, I believe it's coffee lake but uh, no it's whiskey lake yeah it's whiskey lake um, but yeah so uh, that is a uh, it's showing the code name in NeoFetch, or in a ScreenFetch, I apologize, and then in NeoFetch, it just shows the, um, basically the model. So you can see for NeoFetch, it just says the GPU's Intel UHD graphics. It doesn't specify version 620, which that's the version that I currently have. It's UHD 620. Um, for for uh, NeoFetch, it says memory, and then for ScreenFetch, it says RAM. Um, let's see, so font... Are the, is the font different? <laughs> Let's see. Doesn't actually look like... Okay, there's no font in um, in NeoFetch, as you guys can see. It does show the resolution, um, but pretty much pretty much everything else is the same. You can see uptime 19M, and then on NeoFetch it's 19 mins. <laughs> um, we've got our kernel versions here. So, oh, here we go. The kernel... Right here for uh, screen fetch, it shows that this is a x64 architecture computer, well x86 or 64-bit uh, version of Linux Mint. And then on NeoFetch, you can see it just says the kernel version and then dash generic. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm sure many of you are asking the same question: why, why a video on on comparing the two? I into that I say why not <laughs> I've wanted to do it for a while so uh, you know I've that's just been something I've been curious about for a while so uh, uh, my personal opinion I do actually do I actually do like NeoFetch better than ScreenFetch now but uh, I guess sometimes ScreenFetch is more appropriate when you know you want to look at the code name and stuff so yeah well anyways guys uh, it has come towards the end of this video now thank you guys very very much for watching this video uh, please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and don't forget to check out, check out some of my other videos. That is youtube.com slash techbizmo. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one, and uh, don't forget to say thank you to Ryan McConkey for that suggestion. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys.